Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Haini. I'm Haini and today I'm going to take you through a dragon flow inspired practice. It's a quite fast moving, flowing, energizing practice. But we'll start from the floor, we'll warm up, then we'll get into the full flow and end with a relaxation. Let's get started. The Dragon Flow was originally created by Paul and Susie Grilly, so I'm borrowing their fantastic work here. I'll leave Paul and Susie's website uh, in the description box below so you can check out their other work as well. Let's get started with our practice. So we're going to start from down on the mat. You don't need any props for this today, but if possible, have your screen at the kind of long side of the mat and it'll be easier for you to follow the sequence. We'll first come down into child's pose. So find your way into an easy child's pose. You could have your legs wider apart. You could have your legs close together and then lean your head down. If you want, you can bring hands under the head or maybe lean head all the way down onto the mat just so you could take a moment calming down into your breath arrive into your practice you just take a few slightly deeper breaths in and out here Breathing all the way down to your back. Breathing out to the sides. And if there is some space down in the belly and the chest, send a couple of breaths to the front side as well. So finding all that space for your inhalations. If Ujjayi breath is part of your practice, you could start to find a gentle ocean sound in your breath, a gentle Ujjayi breath. Take another few breaths in and out. I'd like to find a steady, calm breath before we start moving more. And slowly with your next few breaths, roll up into a seat and you could sit on your shins or you could even come into a cross-legged seat for a moment. Bring hands in front of you and start to circle your wrist joints. In our dragon flow, we'll spend quite a lot of time on our hands. So we'll prepare the wrists, the hands first. You could change the direction of those circles and let your hands, let your fingers move as well. Couple more circles, keeping shoulders soft, keep the breath flowing. Good. And then bring yourself onto hands and knees. And we're going to continue some wrist movement here. So first you have your palms down on the mat and now turn your right hand so the front of the wrist is pointing forward so you're bending your right wrist the other way and then bring your right hand back to where you started from same on the left side so turn your left hand fingers pointing towards the knees so you're opening the wrist the other way and then again, turn the left hand where you started from. Now turn the back of your right hand onto the mat. So let your right wrist bend the other way. And again, bring the right hand back down. Same on the left side. So turn the back of your left hand onto the mat, bending the wrist the other way. And then again, come back 
to where you started from. Lean back onto your shins, come sitting on your feet and then bring hands in front of you, interlock fingers and now push your hands away from the chest. You're rounding your upper back, you're rounding your neck. If pushing palms to the front feels uncomfortable in the shoulders, you could also just reach your wrists away from the chest. Allow your neck to round a bit, breathe in and out. And then release the arms down and bring hands behind the pelvis, interlock fingers there, and then open the chest. You can look up, just allowing shoulders, allowing the chest to open the other way. Breathe in and out. And then release the arms, come back onto hands and knees, walk your hands in front. Spread the palms, open the fingers a bit, tuck the toes under and then lift your pelvis up into downward dog and take just a moment to walk from one foot to the other. Shake your head a bit, breathe in and out and then look to your hands and step your feet to your hands, shift all the way on to the feet, round the back, head can drop down and then slowly roll the back up, building your spine on top of the pelvis, let the head come up last, open your chest and we're going to move into the dragon flow. First round will be a variation, we'll go a bit slower and I'll give you an option for one of the strongest poses in the flow so then you can make your choice how strong, how gentle you want to make your flow today. Breathe in and out and then with your next breath lift the weight onto the right foot, lift your left knee in front open arms out to the sides and slowly step your left foot far back landing into low runner's lunge step both hands on the inside of your right foot with the next breath bend your elbows down into gecko pose you could open your right hip right foot slightly and with the next breath, extend your arms, so coming back up and from there, leave left hand on the mat and then twist to the right, reaching the right arm up. With your next breath, bring your right hand down, back onto the mat and from there, swing your right leg up into the air. We call this the dragon swinging its tail. Slowly with the next breath, step your right foot forward to hands and now bring your left foot down to the mat. And from there, start to reach your arms up. We're gonna travel all the way to the other side of the mat. So extend your legs, pivot your feet, and then windmill your arms to the left side. Bring hands on to the mat and turn the right heel up. So we are now on the other side of the mat. Here, leave your right hand down and then twist to the left, reaching the left arm up. You can even look up. With your next breath, release the twist, bring the left arm down and then continue lifting your back, your arms up into high dragon lunge. From here, as you exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest, the dragon opening its wings. You can draw shoulder blades towards each other, open across the chest. Next breath, bring your hands back down onto the mat. And then again, dragon swinging its tail, lift your left leg up behind you. And from here, step your left foot forward to your hands. 
will come into balancing flying dragon. So shift the weight on to lift, but lift your right leg up behind you. And slowly start to lift your chest up away from the mat, lifting your right leg behind you. Open the chest. From here, bring your right knee to the chest, round your back and roll your back up again and open the arms and then release the right foot, the arms down. We are back in our standing pose. We'll go to the other side. Lift your right knee towards the chest. Again, you can open your arms and then step your right foot far back into low lunge, low dragon lunge. With the next breath, bend your elbows down into the gecko. You can open the left hip and then push yourself back up, extend the arms. Now leave your right hand down to the mat and then twist to the left side, reaching the left arm up. You can look up if you want and then release your left hand back down. The dragon is gonna swing the tail up. So now leave, reach your left leg up into the air and then step your left foot forward to your hands. Open your right foot onto the mat. And from here, we're gonna travel to the other side, reach your back, your arms up, extend the legs, pivot your feet, and then windmill your hands down to the right foot and turn your left heel up. Leave your left hand onto the mat. And then with the next breath, twist to your right, reaching the right arm up. Slowly with the next breath, bring that right arm down and now start to lift your back, lift your arms up, opening the chest. As you exhale, bend the elbows into dragon wings, a bit like cactus arms. You can draw shoulder blades towards each other open across the chest keep breathing here and then with the next breath bring your hands down the dragon swinging its tail up reach your right leg up into the air head can drop down and then step your right foot forward to your hands finding that balancing flying dragon Slowly lift the left leg up behind you and then lift the hands off the mat. Open your chest away from the mat. Breathing. And from here, bring your left knee to the chest, round your back and roll the back up. You can open the arms and release the left foot. Release your feet, arms down. Breathe in and out. We'll do second round. We'll add another pose there towards the end of the sequence. Breathe and then lift your left knee up towards the chest. Open the arms like your dragon wings and then step your left leg far back. Step hands to the inside of the right foot and bend the elbows down into the gecko. Then extend the arms, leave your left hand on the mat and reach the right arm up. Now you could twist even further, maybe the right arm going behind you. And then release the right hand down. Swing your right leg up into the air. Maybe add a bit of a back bend here. You can look to your hands and then step your right foot to your hands. Turn left foot on the mat and we travel to the other side, reaching up, extending the legs, pivot the feet. So you land down onto your left foot or next to the left foot. Leave right hand down and twisting to the left. Again, you could go even further into that twist. Maybe left arm going behind you. 
and then release the left arm down and slowly lift the back up. Lift the arms up, opening the chest. Exhale, open your dragon wings across the chest and you can draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Maybe a back bend here as well. And exhale, release down, bring hands to the mat. And then next breath, reach your left leg up. Again, maybe a small back bend here. You can look to your hands. Now, bring your left knee, left shin onto the mat. Coming into gate pose, you can step left hand forward and then turn your pelvis, your chest to the long side of the mat. Again, maybe right arm going even behind you. And then close your chest, bring hands down, turn the pelvis to the mat and send your left leg up into the air again. We step the left foot forward to hands, coming into that flying dragon. So lift your right leg up, lift your chest, your arms away from the mat. And then draw the right knee to the chest round the back, slowly coming up to standing, releasing feet, arms down, breathe in and out. Second side, same flow. Next breath, lift your right knee up. You can open the arms and then step your right leg far back landing down into the gecko so bending the elbows on the inside of the left leg then lifting yourself up and twisting to the left left arm reaching up maybe even going behind you twisting further and then close the chest bring hands down and reach your left leg up the dragon tail and maybe add a small back bend Step your left foot forward to hands, we travel to the other side, so pivot the feet, lift yourself up and keep moving the feet so you can land down close to the right foot and from there twist to the right side. You could open the hip, the right foot here as well and then bring the right arm down and start to lift yourself up into that high dragon. Bend your elbows, open your chest, the dragon wings, you can draw shoulder blades closer, you can add a back bend here. And then next breath, release the hands back down and swing your right leg up, the dragon swinging its tail. Again, you can add a back bend and then bring the right knee, the right shin on the mat, close to hands gate pose turn your chest turn your pelvis to the long side of the mat and maybe even bring left arm behind you open the chest then close the chest bring hands down turn pelvis to the mat and from there swing your right leg up into the air step your right foot forward close to hands Coming into that balancing flying dragon. Slowly lifting the weight onto right foot, the left leg reaching behind you, opening the chest away from the mat. And then bring your left knee to the chest, round your back. Lift yourself up, release the feet, release the arms down. Breathe in and out. We have one more round and this round we can add the full flow, the dragon's belly pose into this flow. Then with your next breath, lift your left leg once more in front of you, open your wings and step your left leg behind you, landing down into the gecko. So we start to move a bit faster as well. From there, push yourself up and twist to the right. You decide how far into the twist you go. 
bring your right hand down and then send your right leg up into the air. You can open the chest, maybe a small back bend here and then step the right foot to your hands. We travel to the other side, reaching up, windmill your arms, pivot the feet, and land close to the left foot. And go straight into the twist, so twisting to the left, opening the chest, and then twisting back, and reach the back, reach the arms up, opening the chest, and then bend the elbows, open your dragon wings, opening chest, you can add a back bend. From there, bring your hands back down. The dragon is gonna swing its tail up, reach your left leg up. And now you can either come into the gate pose or dragon's belly by bringing your left knee to chest and then extending the left leg out to the side, turning your right foot on the mat and opening your belly, opening your chest up to the ceiling. Then slowly bring hands down and thread the right, sorry, the left leg back up into the air, head dropping down. From here, step your left foot to your hands and come into that flying dragon, lifting your right leg up, lifting the chest up and bend the right knee, round the back, lift yourself up. Release the foot, release arms down. Breathe in and out. We have one more side, one more round to go. And you can choose gate or dragon's belly. One more time, lift your right knee to the chest and then step your right leg back. Lower down into gecko, so step hands down and bend the elbows. Lift yourself up and then twist to your left, reaching left arm up, maybe opening chest up to ceiling. And then release the twist, bring hands down and now swing your left leg, your dragon's tail up, maybe back bend there. You can look to your hands and then step the left foot forward to hands. Turn right foot on the mat and send your upper body up and then pivot the feet, landing to your right foot and twisting to the right, the right arm reaching up, open the chest. Bring your right arm down, lift your back up once more into that high dragon. So now open the chest, bend the elbows, you can add a back bend and then close the chest. Bring your hands down to the mat and swing your right leg up into the air. Here you can choose either the gate pose or the full dragon's belly. So if you want to go for dragon's belly, thread your right leg out to the left side of the mat, extend the right leg and keep your left knee bent so you can press down through the left foot, lift your belly, your chest up and from there look down, bring hands to the mat, thread your right leg back up once more, dragon swinging its tail and then step the right foot to the hands. Let's find one more balancing flying dragon. Lift your left leg, lift your chest up. And then bring your left knee to the chest, round the back. Lift yourself up, breathe. Land in your feet, down, release the arms down. And just breathe here. Maybe breathing a bit faster, so let your breath calm down. Let that beating heart calm down. And then we'll slowly start to move back down onto the mat. With your next exhalation, slowly round your back. Start from the head, bring your chin to the chest, rounding through the spine, coming 
all the way down into a full forward bend. You decide if you bend your knees or maybe you want to keep your legs extended. Allow the heavy head to sink down. You can shake the head a bit. Breathe in and out. And then bend your knees so much that you can step your both hands on the mat. Step your left knee down behind you. Step your right knee on the mat. We are back on all fours. And from here, walk your knees to your left side. So that you can sit down onto your right buttock, right hip. Come lie down on the right side and then open your chest up towards the ceiling into an open twist. You can still adjust where the legs are, maybe right hand on top of the legs to help them ground down. You could open your left arm further out to the left side if you want. So find a rather easy twist. Where do you feel? You could let your shoulders soften. And also let your breath soften after that flow, after the dragon flow. Starting to calm down. The dragon has landed. Let yourself Take another few breaths in that twist. Also softening the neck. And then after your few breaths, slowly, slowly slide onto your back. So bring the legs up to the center. And then hug the knees into the chest, to the belly. Let yourself curl in a bit. And then we'll come into the twist on the other side. So slowly lower your knees, your legs to your left side. You could have your left hand on top of the legs to ground them down. You could open your right arm somewhere out on the right side if you want. And let the shoulders soften. Let your neck soften. Allow yourself to breathe all the way down towards the belly. Breathe out to the sides. And breathe into your back. Take a few more breaths in this twist. After those few breaths, slowly roll down, slide down onto your back. And again, hug the knees in once more. And then let your legs, your feet come down. Find Shavasana pose for a moment, find your resting pose. If you'd rather lie down on your belly, you'd be very welcome to come lie down on the front as well. Just a moment resting. Focus on the breath. 
you have had the ujjayi breath going on, let go of your ujjayi here. Allow your breath to soften. Allow the breath to quiet down. Give yourself a few more breaths in your resting pose. And after those few breaths, if you feel that you want to continue your resting pose, you're very welcome to stay there longer. If you feel that this is a good point to start closing the practice. From your resting pose, roll down onto one side, either left or the right side. And then from your side, help yourself up into a seat. Find an easy seat. Where do you feel you could take a few more breaths in and out? If you want, you could bring one hand onto your chest, the other hand, other hand down to your belly. Just feel the breath moving in and out another few times. Coming to the end of the practice. Thank yourself for bringing your body, your breath, your mind into the flow today, into your practice today. I thank you very much for joining in. Namaste. Thank you. Great. I hope you feel energized now. If you like the sequence, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. It really helps these videos. And also subscribe to the channel. And if you click the little bell icon, you'll be immediately notified of any future videos that I publish. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.